Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today we are doing a video on pros, uh, development of pros in Renesa period and if you don't know, I am doing here history of English literature series and this is 17th video uh, from this series. If you don't know, we are also doing a series for summaries. You must check those summaries. Now let's discuss the important works and important notes from this period. Bacon inaugurated essay writing in English and Richard Huckleth pioneered travel literature. So this is a very important question who uh, pioneered travel literature in English literature. Uh, so Richard Huckleth, H-A-K-L-U-T, L-U-I-T, Sydney uh, started literary criticism and essays started by Montin began in France and Dr. Johnson called it Luce Sally in mind. So this question is asked several times in exams. What is called Luce Sally of mind? So it was essay. Francis Bacon from uh, 1561 to 1626 scientific and philosophical prose he developed his works are the advancement of learning in 1605 and it contains baconic philosophy he published some essays bunch of essays in 1597 he published 10 essays and in 1612 and 38 in uh, 1612 38 essays and 1625 he published 58 essays so you can remember 97 10 12 38 and 25 58 now next one history history of uh, henry seventh by francis bacon got published in 1622 and new atlantis in 1626 it was left incomplete because of his death. It was modeled on Moore's Utopia. If parts allured thee, think now back and shine, the wisest, the brightest, and the meanest of mankind. This quotation is by Alexander Pope about Bacon's character. I am an encyclopedia of learning. This essay, uh, this quotation is by Bacon for himself now some important prose works were written in that uh, period now uh, by ben johnson 1573 to 1637 a great dramatist and poet he wrote aphoristic uh, essays if you don't know what is aphoristic essays i have made a video on this topic on my channel you can check out his essays are compiled in the Timber of Discoveries, written in 1630 and published posthumously about 1641. Now next person uh, who added his uh, contribution in development of prose was John Selden, 1584 to 1654. His first work was Table Talk, which got published in 1689 commonly we say a judgment falls upon a man for something in him we cannot abide syllable govern the words so these are quotations by john selden some other works important works by the writer are the titles of honor in 1614 and the history of title tethers t-h-t-h-e-s tethers 1618 later some literary criticism we can uh, talk about and we should study so first work was stephen gossens the school of abuse got published in 1579 uh, and he uh, to him poets are fathers of lies he called all poets are fathers of lies william webb's discourse of english poetry in 1586 george puttenham's art of poesy uh, pub got published in 1589 and Sydney's Defense of Poesy in 1505, uh, sorry, 1595, uh, which was reply to the School of Abuse by Stephen Gossens. In this work, Stephen Gossens 
uh, talks about why we should not write uh, any poem and sydney answers his uh, uh, about his views he gives all his views about poetry and why poetry should be written in defense of poesy now here defense of poesy i have made a complete video on this you should check out that religious prose two remarkable works of this period richard hooker's the laws of ecclesiastical poetry in it got it was created between 1594 to 97 and the authorized version of the bible in 1611 in next video we will be talking about again uh, prose development in the same age hopefully this video will help you to gain some extra mark in your examination and to help you understanding in english literature so uh, if you like the video please do share comment and hopefully you have already subscribed the channel thank you for uh, watching this video bye bye take care see you in next video